It is openly accepted. It has been announced that he's there to deliver an apology on behalf of the Catholic Church, Catholic Christianity, for many things. Um, most notably, it's to apologize for what was done to the children of the native indigenous tribes and what was done in the name of the church by people who were Christians and, in fact, by people who were doing what they were doing with the official and unofficial blessing of the Roman Catholic Church. Our viewers may have remembered the uh, papal bull, the, the fatwa that Christians uh, issue, whereby they created the doctrine of discovery, which meant that if you went to any place and there were indigenous people there, if they weren't Christians, you basically could enslave them, you could steal their lands, you could do whatever you wished, you could in effect treat them as though they were livestock. And in many countries, or even as recently as 1961, indigenous natives around the world were being treated as livestock yeah. by members of the Christian churches with the blessings of the churches. So the Pope has arrived there. As you say, in 1993, there was the first apology, and that was from the Anglican Christian tradition. There were lots of promises made, all sorts of gestures that were made, many atmospheric, um, shall we say, gestures were made. There was a lot of embracing, uh, a lot of pious hand rubbing, a lot of virtue signaling. And even in 1993, the indigenous uh, um, indigenous natives, I've almost said, they, they call them Indians. You know, this is how fixated yeah. they were with uh, our Indians at that time. The, even in 1993, the natives, the Inuit, the Mitai, they, they all objected. They said, word is great, but we need to see something more substantial. We're now almost 30 years later, 29 years later, and only, I, I think it was last month even, Justin Welby, the head of the Anglican Christian family, he went and apologised in person, and now the Pope has decided to apologise. But um, the, the sentiment is, that, and it's being articulated as this quite strongly, that words are no longer good enough. I'm trying to get a copy of the uh, video recordings of those in events, and we'll get one of the Pope's apology as well, and we'll put them together and let's see what they're actually saying. I'm reminded that um, an apology, it uh, basically costs nothing, and unless you're going to accompany an expression of remorse with some sort of expression of restitution, of trying to repair the harm that you did, then it's merely atmospheric and it's words. And a lot of the natives are now saying, we've been waiting for a long time for this. It's not enough. And I suspect the real reason the Pope has gone there is to try and mollify this incre increasing, increasing sentiment that Christians are actually not doing anything, that the church is not actually doing anything. And each and every year goes by, and there are native indigenous members of those communities who are dying. The living record is disappearing. There are many who are committing suicide, alcoholism is rife, and all of these have stemmed out of the trauma that was inflicted on families by having their children taken away from them. Many were killed, many were abused, and many survivors to this day are still traumatised. So there is a lot happening at this moment in time, and a lot of apologies are going to sort of come. Please remember to subscribe to us and switch on the notifications for this channel. For our other social media links, more content and to support our work, please visit citti.net. Dhanyavad. Namaskar.